So let's now uh, move on to our next particle. Okay, let's let's do the fire effect. All right. So let's kill this one. I'm sorry, not the fire. Let's do the smoke. Okay. So um, I'm just going to bring the smoke on stage, and we can start thinking about how we're going to approach it. Okay. So this is actually not very much different than um, what we just did. In fact, it's extremely similar. The only difference is that component that we deleted last time, in this one we're going to use. Okay, so in the last one, if we go ahead and look at this particle effect, I'm just going to get the smoke, simple smoke, and I'm going to tab it down, and we're just going to take a look here. And if you'll notice, what we're using here is a material billboard, and I've, I've brought in a, a material map um, that I'm using for the material. Outside of that, it's basically the exact same thing as the last particle that we created. Okay, so um, I'm just going to show you what I'm using. Uh, in Photoshop, I created this really simple, um, you know, kind of cloudy looking, you know, thing. Um, and I just did that with some grunge brushes. I painted them up, blurred them, did a, did a little here and there, and just kind of created this very simple PNG file uh, that is my smoke. Okay, um, and I'll just give you a black underscore so you can kind of see what it really looks like just because it's hard to see with that checkerboard background. Uh, edit, fill black, no preserve transparency. So that's kind of what it looks like, right? Um, again, it's a very simple, um, you know, thing. The only thing that's really important to realize is that I never actually touch the edges, um, or I try not to. Like here, it might be a little close, here it's a little close, but for all intents and purposes, I basically don't want, you know, a lot of you know, it to touch the edges because it'll show as the edge of a box, right? Like if it cuts off. So you want to make sure everything is within the edges. Like, see how I'm fading it out over here? I don't even want that to stick out. This is probably fading, like, right? It's good enough. You know what I mean? Um, but the idea is don't don't go right to the edges. Try to, try to give yourself a little padding uh, so that the edge of your box doesn't look like the edge of a box, okay? Um, outside of that, you just want it to be transparent background and you're going to save it as a PNG file, okay? Um, once you save it as a PNG file, inside of Stingray, you'll go into your textures folder, you're going to go import, and you're just going to import that as a texture, okay? So once I did, this is the, the material I, I, I have, um, and I'm just going to show you how that works now. Uh, so if I go into my, my smoke effect, so let's, let's actually recreate this one too, just like I did the last one. Um, and we're going to have a lot of the same things. So let's go ahead and go right click and we're going to go create particle and we're going to call this one simple smoke 2. Okay. So I'm going to drag this simple smoke 2 onto the stage and we're going to get going again. All right. So uh, so with this one we're going to have that same kind of thing. We want to start with a gravity. Um, so I'm just going to grab my Simple Smoke 2 and I'm going to tab down the system and I'm going to go ahead and give it an uh, acceleration of gravity and I want it to be something a little slower than what we had last time so I think it's probably going to be a 1 is going to be good enough um, and I'm going to save it and we should start to see that we get our particles uh, forming here okay so so now we've just got simple you know, particles floating up. We now are going to go into our material billboard. I'm going to go and grab that texture that I imported and I'm going to save it. I'm not sure why it's not showing. Let's see what's going on here. I am in simple smoke too, yes. Iterate, size, try changing this size to something like one. There we go. So uh, for some reason it just wasn't updating, but now it's updating. So now we're getting this kind of blotchy, weird looking thing. Okay. So with, with this type of a particle effect, you really want to try to manage this, the numbers that you're creating. Okay. So right now we're creating 10 at a time. And again, we have that total lifetime of 10. 
uh, I mean the total amount of 10. So first thing we're going to want to do is increase this lifetime to something more like, I don't know, something like two to three seconds, let's say, um, so that it can live long enough to kind of go up there. But we're creating way too many per second. So let's go ahead and give that rate something more reasonable, like one to three per second. Um, and that should start to feel a little better. Uh, it's still a little too chunky, so let's go three to five, maybe, and see how that looks. Yeah, that's going to be a little better. Um, and now let's go ahead and give it that um, that position uh, again. So we're going to go position int, and we're going to go box, and let's just try it like that. It's probably going to be a little chaotic. Yep, that's too much. So let's do something more like negative 0.25, negative 0.25, negative 0.25, 0.25, 0.25 and 0.25. Okay, and let's hit save. All right, so now we're going to get a little bit of offsetting, and we're kind of getting closer to what we want. Um, in fact, I think it could even be a little wider. Let's try negative 0.5, negative 0.5. Uh, this time I'm just going to make my life a little easier by copying this and pasting it and pasting it. And then I'm just going to go 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0.5 and I'm going to save it and just see how that feels. Yeah, that's definitely a little bit better. Okay, so um, so now I've got it kind of working. Um, in my color, this is going to be the kind of the big thing. Uh, I want to set my opacity down, okay? So the first thing I want to do is I want to start it basically at zero and then I want it to increase a little bit and then I want it to decrease over time. So I'm basically becoming a little bit opaque and then I'm kind of fading out. And we should see that that's going to give some immediately good results. And as you can see, it's starting to feel way better already. We're, we're starting to not overwhelm the, the, you know, the, the coloring. Okay, so speaking of coloring, let's go ahead and let's mess with that now. Um, so color and, oh, I was already in color. So let's go ahead and gradiate this also. So I, I kind of wanted mine, oops, cancel. I kind of wanted mine to be like, you know, a little reddish at the bottom so that it matched the, like over here, it looks really nice, right? Like when you have the light on it and it's got that red and the darks, you know, it starts to look really good. So um, what I'm going to do is the same kind of thing. I'm just going to go for that same look. Uh, so I'm going to go for this dark reddish. So again, I got to do that. And I'm just going to put that like dark red to start with its lifetime. And it's going to go to this, you know, charcoal -y gray uh, color. So let's go to that. All right. And we're going to save it. And we should start to feel pretty good. It's a little too red. Um, I think I'm going to lower that redness quality and make it a little more black. So uh, let's get that a little more charcoal -y red kind of look. Yeah, it's starting to feel good. All right. So um, I think I'm going a little too transparent now. Uh, so let's go ahead and increase our, our opacity a touch. And I'm just going to give it a little bit more of a fall off towards the end, that it's a little, a little bit of a break off, um, just to make it kind of not quite so, you know, now it's gotten a little too opaque. So let's, let's go ahead and drop that down some, see how that feels. That's starting to get there. So this is just now, you know, a matter of getting it in the pocket, right? Like you just want it to feel good now, and you're just going to kind of tweak some adjustments. Um, the basics are there. So uh, size, you know, we'll probably mess with the size a little bit. We'll make the initial size between 1 and 2, let's say. And let's take a look at that. And that's starting to feel pretty good. Actually, it feels better than the original one, almost. Uh, maybe it does even. Feels pretty good. So that's the basics of a of a you know simple particle. Oh, one other thing that I did was just for fun. Um, I gave it a uh, acceleration of vector wind field, and this is pretty straightforward. You just put it on, and when you hit save, you'll see what happens. So here you can see we're getting a lot of variation. 
Um, so we don't really want that much uh, kind of craziness going on. So what I usually do is I just set this noise down to something more like 0.1, uh, just so that it's not so chaotic, and we start to get what we're looking for then. Um, so we can even change our wind coefficient to something more like 2, and see how it goes. And now we should get a little mixture of the wind plus the rising of the gravity. Now um, you can always just adjust up your gravity once you do this. So let's just find gravity and we can just adjust that up to something more like 2 since the wind is kind of slowing it down. And now you should have uh, what you're looking for. And you can always kind of balance those two out you know, um, with your vector wind. You can just kind of increase this, you know, make it a little more windy which is probably going to slow it down again some. Um, and you can increase your noise, so 0.2, until you get, you know, kind of where you're happy. So this is just tweaks and playing now uh, until you get it right. And let's go to our spawn rate. And yeah, 3 to 5 is, should be good. We could make this a little more erratic by opening that gap. Uh, I put it to 2 and 5 instead of 3 and 5. And that's starting to feel pretty good. Um, maybe a little bit more gravity. So let's give it a little bit like a three. See how that feels. Yeah, it's feeling pretty good. So there you have it. All right. So so that's the entirety of making a uh, a particle like this guy. Um, you know where you're gonna want just a billboard. Okay. So this is called a billboard animation. And it's mostly driven from this billboard right here. Okay, um, you can also do additive blend. Um, sometimes that can be helpful. Uh, it gives it a little bit more of a soft look um, rather than see how it's now a little softer. Um, so it just helps blend a little better. Uh, but when you do it as a transparent PNG, you don't really need to do this. The additive blend is mostly used for when you're doing uh, a blend that does not have, like let's say you're doing like a black background, um, the black would drop when you do the additive blend. All right, So I'll just turn that back off because it is costly to run that. Um, so it's much better to do what we did, which is uh, a... Um, it's much better to do it as a transparent PNG where you're getting the proper transparencies right from the PNG file. Okay. So uh, is there anything else we want to do to this guy? I think that pretty much does it. Um, we could do you know, a slight rotation. Um, we could do rotation by velocity. Uh, that could be useful. You know what? Mm, I don't even think I want to do this. I'm just going to remove that one. I'm going to add a different rotation type. Rotation uh, random. And we can just give it a very slight random rotation of like, you know, 10 degrees or 20 degrees maybe. Um, and that'll let it kind of give a little more variation to it. But that's almost non-noticeable. Let's try kicking it up some more. Of course, the best, best effects are the ones that are very subtle. So... Yeah, I think I liked it better the way it was. Let's just leave it without the random rotation. Um, and we'll call that done. All right. So play with this and uh, you can kind of do what you'd like. All right. But you get the basic idea. That's how you would make a, uh, a smoky particle effect. All right.